Hello, this video is to tell and show Dr. Newbauer Punch Long Pips Rubber Review, a detailed version, as previously we issued the brief version. The rubber was tested in OX, no sponge, version, on Enher 970XXA blade. It is a fast ALC blade that I like very much, by the way you may watch the review, link is under the video. The punch is a very new product, issued in the second half of 2022. And it is a rubber with speciality. The speed is medium. Even when put on a fast blade, it would be playable for a not very skillful player after some practice. While more skilled players would handle it easily. The hardness is above average. The grip is at a very low level, and the reaction to incoming spin is very low accordingly. The control is reasonably high. I expect it to be less due to hardness, but after I got more used to it I found that the speed is linear. And this linearity makes it easier to get used and understand the rubber. And due to that it is easy to control the length of the trajectory of your strokes. By the way, you may buy punch and other table tennis items in our friendly shop, we deliver orders worldwide. What does the punch remind me of? It reminds me of Medium Pips Dr. Newbauer KO, I'd say the punch is some sort of long pips version of it. Blocking over a table. I'd say it is very good, even great. The rubber performs it in a comfortable and understandable manner. After some adjustment I found that it is easier to block with it, if compared to common LP's blockability. And the more you get used to punch, the easier it is to block with it. Compared to the number one LPs which are also very good for blocking, the punch performs not worse, just somewhat different, as the punch is faster and harder. I'd say that blocking is what this rubber is designed for. It is one of the main elements. It performs excellent in both passive and active blocking. By passive blocking I mean just putting a racket to return the ball safely to the other side. By active blocking I mean the aggressive manner when you add a forward pushing move, to make a ball fly much faster and put your opponent into a lack of time to prepare a next move. As the rubber offers very good control on blocking, it is easy to place a ball into a needed spot by regulating the angle and depth. Due to that you may create many situations for getting the initiative in play, for effective attacking and counter-attacking to win points. Chop block also works well. Though I don't think this rubber is a pure chop blocking rubber. I think the punch first of all is a versatile blocking rubber and chop blocking is an additional option, but not the focus. While even without chop blocking you'll get enough variation of your returns due to easy variation of angles and depth and speed on blocking. When blocking a powerful attack on a fast blade like mine, it often results in an aggressive block. The ball flies fast with a long trajectory. It would be good if the opponent stays close. But if you wish, it is possible to soften the bounce and make a shorter return. It would be good if the opponent attacks from a distance. To conclude about blocking abilities. They are versatile and excellent. Passive and aggressive style and chop block, all are good. Long and short, fast and slow, all is available. The disruption effect is present, but this rubber is more about active and aggressive versatile play, not about just passive disruption. The punch offers comfort in that kind of play. And some disruption effect comes here as a bonus. Now about attacking abilities. It is easy and comfortable to drive and hit. If you have a technique of playing with a low grip LP's OX, you must not face any problems. If you don't have a technique yet, you should master it, as no rubber performs well if the player doesn't have a technique. Sorry for such a banality. Attack against backspin often allows an immediate win or at least taking the initiative. It is easy to do. Even the top spin is possible. You may wonder, but some LPs OX allow doing some kind of top spin on the fast blade. The punch also allows doing BH top spin with a moderate comfort. By the way, if you are looking for LPs OX with a good top spin ability, you should check Dr. Newbauer number one. We already reviewed it with a detailed testing of top spin. The link to review is under the video. If you find yourself able for LPs OX BH top spin, you may bring your opponents a lot of fun, if you understand what I mean. Such top spins are very hard to block, as they come with no spin and are usually blocked into the net due to that.
Counterattack. If you are in position, you may counterattack against topspins or drives. The punch performs it in a similar way to short pips. Of course, it is not as easy to do as with short pips. You should pick a ball for counterattack more thoroughly. But the ball is more dangerous and disruptive compared to what short pips do. So it is harder to perform, but more effective when performed. Once you understand the technique and practiced enough, you may counterattack both near the table and from some distance, but don't go too far for it. Pushing over a table. Upon testing the punch I found that it is another strongest point of this rubber, along with blocking. It offers very good abilities in all these small moves and pushes, short and long, fast and aggressive, to unexpected angles and so on. To get the initiative for successful attack. The main points are the control and speed of your pushes, to play fast and inconveniently for the opponent. There are no big passive disruption effect, but due to high control you may play the active disruption and don't let your opponent attack freely, and play your own attacks instead. Service return. It is similar to pushing. You may play aggressively against not very long services. Against a long and fast service you may block or drive, or even topspin. So depending on your skills and incoming ball you may play passively or aggressively in different ways. The reaction to incoming spin is very small and that eases the service return. Defense. I am not a chopper and can only do some limited tests about it. I may say that due to high control it is easy to play chops. I even like to do some occasional chop with punch. If you are a pure chopper and tried this rubber, please share your feedback in the comments. It is surely not the chopping rubber, but some rubbers that were designed for something else, are very good for chopping anyway. So it would be interesting to know about the punch, how good it is for chopping. The far block. When you go far from the table you may use it instead of chopping with this rubber. Some people think that chopping is the only option, but some LPs allow that far block as well. While some LPs can't play this element. The punch does it effectively and I recommend to use the far block if you use the punch and play from a distance sometimes. The conclusion. I think the punch was developed for a close to table play. It performs blocking and pushing with high control and efficiency. And it allows you to attack effectively in different ways. It is good for a varied tempo and aggressive style of play. It is very aggressive rubber compared to many other LPs. Even the OX version that I tested is very aggressive. The name is chosen right. It is for players with some skill, not for beginners. If you are a beginner, please have a look at number one which is somewhat similar but much slower and due to that is good for beginners. By the way we are going to make a comparison of these two rubbers. Please subscribe to our channel to not miss our new videos. We make our reviews to help you learn the properties of rubbers and blades, so you may see if it is worth your trying or not. So you may avoid the blind buying and trying. And I remind you that our friendly shop is working for you, we deliver worldwide, you are welcome and we are always glad to help.